Hey Realmwalkers, I am Serodus Orbis, and I hope you're having a pretty good day today. And if not, if someone or something is ruining your day or making your life very difficult, definitely come and hang out, because at least here, you won't have to deal with that bullshit. Anyways, before we get into it actually, um, I just want to note that the past couple of episodes have had some weird technical issues, a lot of screen tearing and things like that, and it's because my PC somehow reactivated uh, something called Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling, and for some reason that made it really hard for OBS to actually keep up with incoming frames and writing them to disk. So that's been fixed, hopefully it won't happen anymore. There might still be issues, like if some pitching and stuff like that, but that's that's not something I can really fix. I've tried everything, but um, yeah. Okay, now, now let's talk about the episode. This is episode 16 of Stranded Among the Realms, an extreme difficulty playthrough of Nightingale. And today we're going to go through the Provisioner Forest and kind of grab a bunch of recipes if we can and talk to the Essence Trader, maybe get some uh, quests and missions and things like that. We'll just do some general scouting. And um, yeah, so that said, let's uh, let's get into it. Oh, we are, we are soaked. Oh, hello. Wild bear. Level 100. Wonder if he can get to us. Probably not. Should we risk it? Should we shoot him? He's not really, he's not really after us. So let's leave him alone. Um... I definitely want to see what's over there. There's a lot of really interesting things to see out here. It's actually kind of really pretty. All of the whole, the purple grass and it's very scenic. Let's look at the map. Alright, up here is Bass Reeves. We should probably talk to him. The Essence Trader, the Fate Tower. We probably don't need to do the Fate Tower. We should just do a big circle like this. Or maybe south and then north? Hmm. Let's try going south first. See see where the road takes us. Then we'll swing around east and then head north. If we got time for it. Oh, there's the car new. A whole Teotin. Ooh. Some deer. A Beelzebor. Okay, level 100. We have to deal with all that. With our level 50 gear. Yes. Fantastic. Oh, there's two carnets. Oh, so we're in need of food. Okay. So this is... Is this the... the Jotun? Nope. So I think we give this meat, but I don't have any meat. So maybe we kill something and come back? Let's mark this as a point of interest. Maybe we should have attacked that there. Let's attack that boar. now, damn. That's gonna be fighting really hard. Oh. Excuse me.
I think we might have to wait out this, this weather. That's annoying. Now the boar and the bear are teaming up. Ooh, cotton. Tea. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, I want tea. Oil of Carnute. Okay. Where's that coming from? Okay, where's that boar? Where's that boar gone? Oh, the bear and the boar are fighting. Let's leave them to it. They really don't like each other, huh? Oil of Chaparral Trout. How you doing, Sue? What do you need? Oh, you're gonna really need stone. Lots of stone and lots of fiber. Which isn't too bad. But we don't want to spend our time doing this. I mean, it's not a bad thing to do, it's easy. We just have to go get the stuff, right? I definitely want to play with these two. Um, although dealing with both of them at the same time is going to be a nightmare. Yeah, right. Trying to get a hard shot. Got a headshot at least on someone. Ooh, I got both of them. Let's get dry first before we get before they attack us. We're just chopping trees down. Here he comes. Ow. 
Get away. Go fight each other. Oh, Sue got injured. And it's still raining. Bad timing. Oh shit. This is not working out. Dude, how? Using up all our healing in the first encounter. Get away from me, bear. The other one pushed the other one into me as it was charging. That was, uh, lame, lame, lame. That's okay, though. That's okay. We'll just go back. Oh, shit. Why are they over here? Like, they ran all the way over here to, like, re-engage or something? Back at the scene of the crime. Where did where are they? Okay. That was kind of strange. Hi. Let us begin. There you go. You can have a roof that's somehow floating. Oh, we can't finish this because we need lumber. That's dumb. So, okay, we'll, we're gonna. That's where you're falling. Wait, you know what? Let me. Oh, man, it seems like. Alright, so sorry about the weird time jump here, but I have, I've been having some technical issues in my end. Like stuff, my OBS keeps stopping? I don't know how to explain it. I was in the middle of a fight and it just stopped. I had to figure out what was going on and all that stuff. Then I loaded back into the game, I restarted the game, I loaded back in, went back home, got re-kitted out because I got attacked, and... The second I passed through here, I got attacked by a bear. <laughs> and I had to stop and run away and all that stuff. Um, and then he ran off because there's no path towards us up here. Ah, it's been kind of a pain, actually, this entire episode so far. Like, I'm just trying to get it done, and it's just we can't get very far. Um, you know, for various issues, technical, just, you know, stuff like that. But... Let's put it aside. Let's... But let's stop. Let's take a minute. Let's breathe. Let's center ourselves. <sighs> let's let the frustration melt away. Okay. Now, we were going to head southeast. Um, as I was trying to explain before the last time my, it got interrupted. 
Um, I was headed in this direction because I ended up building, I think over here, I was building a house, an entire small set settlement for some guy, and I figured we should probably finish that. Um, yeah. Although it's going to take a lot of resources. Right, let's do this. Hopefully that, that stupid bear won't show up. Stupid bear. To be honest, we are severely underpowered here. Like if you noticed here, it's level 100. And our gear is only 50. Which means we can't really fight anything. So we have, kind of have to do our best to avoid a lot of fights. Okay, so there's this thing. Uh, do we have any... We got roasted meat. I don't think it's going to take that. Let's try it though. Let's see what happens. Well, thank you for the Yoken Heart. So do that. If you see an offering for an Ayoki, give it meat, and it will give you Ayoki heart. Four of them. That's pretty good. Inside. Is this a defense mission? Oh, they're dealing with a stupid pig. Dang dumb pig. Should we help him with that? Ooh. Uh oh. Hey. The fact that he... Hmm. <laughs> The fact that he was trapped there and then suddenly broke free just to attack us, that's some serious bullshit. Alright, let's get around. Oh, get in. More fighting machine. Warm him. Take him out. Oh, oh it's ruined. Dang it. There's too many bodies. Huh? Oh. Smack him to death. Let's just sit here. I take it. Yeah, these things suck. They sure do come with a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, okay, so now we can go explore this little spot. Let's take a look. <gasps> no chest.
Okay, this place is kind of tall. Another chesty boy. That was a weird phrase, huh? A chesty boy. But hey, you know, more power to the chesty boy. Okay, let's go keep going. Such weird hitching, especially around like structures like this, I've noticed. Like when there's intricate metalwork, I've noticed that there's a lot of hitching sometimes. Okay, let's go back down. Plop. Ooh. I'll take that gilded lumber. Expedition of the Realms, Quartermain's Diary. Eilish was tasked with preparations for a foray into the perilous deserts. Sufficient victuals, geared to weather the harsh shun and, of course, bedrolls. I reviewed the manifest and found it to be complete, but as our cargo was being prepared, Eilish spied an incompetent company man packing swamp waders. Thankfully, she was paying attention. The right gear is paramount to our own survival. Musing on our potential mishap, I rallied my companions to a singular question. What great truth can the feeble mind of man hope to learn from the exploration of the desert realms? Each answered in kind to their passion. Though not entirely wrong in their approach, I go to them to pursue a higher line of thought and instead ponder the purpose of the human spirit. Here perhaps they could not quite fathom my grand vision, but I'm confident that days in the realms will clarify the hope of humanity. It's an interesting note there. Okay, let's continue this way, southeast-ish. What's this little building? Ooh, what's this stuff? Too bad we can't get it yet. Cotton thread, place to sleep, which we may as well take a quick nap. Or chaparral trout oil. Three potatoes. Let's go around back here first. Okay, we're gathering all this stuff, but what we really need are recipes. Oh jeez. Oops, what am I doing? I wonder if we can fight that. See, there's a lot of stuff here that I'd like to pick up.
That bear is just cramping our style. Nothing valuable here. Um, I'd like to read this, but there is a bear here. So we're going to end up uh, getting tagged by the bear if we just sit there and read for a couple minutes. Coffee cherry. What is that? It's food. Nice. We can probably turn that into coffee. Somehow. Okay. Alright, let's continue our, our path this way. Oh, here we go. A nice easy thing to do. Cool, cool. Is that a box? Nope. Alright, uh, where do we go now? South. That way. Right? Yep. That way. Alright, here we are. Back to the place where I was helping the guy build up. And the reason why I like it is because it looks cool. Like, it looks like he's like a whole lab and a whole... I don't know, a whole thing. So let's continue doing this. He does need a lot of goods, though. So, as you can see, like uh, yeah, I've already started putting some stuff in there. Plant fibers, bring some sticks. Where's the sparkly thing? Right there. The sparkly thing. The Notebook of Nelly Bly, December 1st, 1889. Recalling what I can of Aurelia's dry lectures, I draw myself a simple card with the purest intentions. It seems accurate enough, bringing me to a nondescript forest, and in it, a small hovel. Outside, two druids, husband and wife. They seem at once concerned and unsurprised at my appearance. We've made our home here for some 15 years, the wife tells me, and we saw nary but two visitors all the while. In the last week, a dozen, rambling on of monsters and pale fog. We send them towards the portal of, to town, where there's a doctor. With heavy heart, I inform them of the network's collapse and the fate of their trusted portal. The townsfolk said the portal was stabilized, or soon would be, in case we were in need of aid. The man looks about nervously as though it fills me with fresh inspiration. Have you a stabilizer on the side? No. This realm would not be my salvation, but any efforts to secure small networks ensure there are machines elsewhere to be found. With the right combination of cards and a sturdy stabilizer, I may find myself in the watch by week's end. And that's our goal too. To get to the watch. Oh, so actually in here, 
I've already like picked them clean, but there's chest chests. As you can see, it's twelve thousand health. Twelve thousand. So yeah, we're we're not going to be um, breaking those open anytime soon. We have it here. God. Oh, we are not going to use the open heart. Hell no. So we're not going to. Part of me wants to go home and put away the open heart. Ah, this sucks. This sucks. We'll just add our, add resources. We'll do it this way. Because, you know, we don't want to accidentally go away the open hearts. That'd be, that'd be bad times. Okay, I'm going to gather up a bunch of stuff, and then when we come back, hopefully this will all be built. Fingers crossed. So this should be pretty much the last that we need to do. Just this one building. Should hopefully. There we go. Oh, there's one more thing, I think. Yep. Two bedrolls. There we go. Alright, Perry. There you go. You got a nice little abode. Which seriously is actually kind of a nice spot. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind living here at all. A hundred tier one essence, charm of the woman check. Nice. Thank you, Shia. Oh, before we go, we need to grab our stuff. I'd put it in a little basket just to make sure we don't lose it. Um, 17 wood plunderers. And it rained twice today. Alright, let's make some lumber. Um, let's make... Eight? Sure. Had ourselves a snooze, now let's get back on the road. Uh, let's head towards the Fey Tower over there, and then turn northwards once we're done. Here's the Fate Tower, but we are not going to be doing this today. We probably won't be doing this at all uh, here. Uh, one, we're undergeared, and two, we just don't need it. All we need is the Essence Trader. Alright, we're coming up on the Trader, and... Seems to be... Oop, I think I see a... Yep, that's what I thought. A bear. We could try and fight it. The bear is easier, or easily. Easily. We can just let it go. Let's talk to Charlie. Hey, yeah, uh, Charlie. Lancaster pistol. I didn't know you could be, um, unarmed. I mean, I, I suppose you, I knew you could, because you can punch. But I didn't think that was actually a thing. This is what we need. Hell yeah! All this stuff. Okay. 
Thank you, Charlie. Now, that said, where do we go now? Let's see, it's 4.30. I think we continue northwards, northeastwards, and then head towards Bass Reeves. Uh, we could kill that guy. Ooh, another coffee cherry. Honestly, we should avoid all fights until we're geared up. We simply cannot handle these things. We just don't have the capability to outlast them, and they do so much damage. Okay, let's head this way. Do not fall down here. That would be a bad, bad thing to happen. Guess we gotta go around. Gym powder. Shingles. Nothing really good, just wood. Although we could use wood. Agility place. May as well knock this one out, right? Hey. It's not bad loot. It's not great loot either. Sorry, just checking something. Up, oh, please. Thank you. Up, oh, oh, please. Thank you. And a Shire Sconce is our prize. Okay, we keep going north. Oh, hello. We have to go pretty much straight north. But here, bear? There's a bear down there. Damn it. Well, we can run past. Let's snack this real quick. I'm not gonna read it, unfortunately, because... Bear. Bear may always show up and maul us while we're reading. Let's avoid that. 
have some tea though. Sorry, tea spice. Um, I want to try and make it. Okay, let's try and make it to him before nightfall. I think this is him. Had to dodge a uh, a Beelzebore and one of the bears. What we got here? Hello, Bass Reeves. Don't don't make me pilfering your things. I'm just uh, you know borrowing. Oop. And some rainbow trout oil. Okay. Hey, Abbas. Don't mind me none. Only here to rest a while. Pardon me, sir. Are you lost as well? Just a lonesome man trying to bide the time. And who might you be? Um... No one. Seems you have that much in common. I think that's pretty accurate. Yep. Ah, oh, you sure as hell ain't a fugitive. Not the one I'm looking for anyways. No sense keeping up my guys. Fugitive, what's your business here then? Got a writ for a thief of sorts. Fled Nightingale months back. Do you need help apprehending this fugitive? Help. Hunting those who observe not God's, lo God's law is dangerous business. Doubly so in dangerous lands. From the looks of it, you, you're being put through with perdition already. I've walked in your shoes down this path we call a drift. Years back, the Cherokee took me in, learned me many lessons until I became a freedman. Sending you off to roam the realms would be sending you off to an early grave. All things being true, I feel obliged to impart the lessons in survival that were once paid to me. What do you say? I would welcome whatever you might impart. Preparation is survival. These wilds live, breathe, tell you how they feel. When you hear thunder, howls, or squalls, that's the realm giving itself away order beneath the frenzy. Think hard now. There are plenty of dangers in these parts. What might you need? Something to fight with. Without a weapon, there is no line of defense, even for lily-livered pacifists. Armament, ammunition. After that, we'll see to it and know how to use them without taking an eye out. I believe I am properly prepared. Are you now? Give us a look. Preparation has merits, I'll concede. Realms make equals of us all, eventually. Alright, see you put some care into this weapon. Now, you've got the means to protect yourself, but are your, or are your eyes in tune with your trigger finger? I'm a bit of a fledgling in such arts. Now, shooting ain't my preferred move, a necessary skill nonetheless. Man, this guy's kind of wordy. I suppose you've got more preparation duties for me? Back in the war, ammunition was limited, but conservation affords forethought, and a well-placed shot is a resourceful one. Most living creatures have got a frailty, an unprotected vital organ, as if swift deaths were planned in the design of all beings. Now get, learn your marks, and remember, the pious waste for nothing. I will return when the task is complete. Basically, we gotta do heart shots. Oops, sorry, Bass. We gotta do two heart shots and three headshots, which is easy. We're gonna get that real, real easy. Um, it's nighttime. We probably shouldn't hang out. Ooh, I kind of like this though.
We're freezing. So let's get back to the respite. Or we could sleep too. Let's do a long rest. Okay, just got back home, took a nap, and should be daytime now, so let's put this away. Oh, we got some gear. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff to put away. So, equivalent. Oh, we're full. We are full, full. Yikes. We really pulled a lot of things from out there. What's that? Magnesium. Wow, well, where can we put that? You know what, let's take all the gems out and put them somewhere else. Put him uh, here. Sure. Okay, you are full. Let's pull out all the food. All the cooked food, I mean. All this other stuff can stay in the pantry. And what we'll do is let's build a... No, we don't. Okay, and let's pop everything else in here. There we go. All the food can go in here. We'll call this the the larder. Boop. Potato. Um. Let's actually take the open heart and put it here with the gems. Because, so we know that it's valuable. Oh, this is full too. So we're going to separate this out to potions and... Versus enchants. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I need a table. You know what? Let's... Mm. See, the problem with that is it's in the corner here, so we can't even see it. So maybe we just... You know what? We'll figure that out some other time. Uh, for now, let's put it here in this box. Oops. Let's put that in there, too. Mm. Coffee cherries. Oh, we got some garden stuff to do. Uh, Saskatoon. Those are berries, right? Do we have more than two? Sadly, no. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's 
do this real quick. Oh, we got no sunflower seeds out of that? That's some bullshit. So let's go with sunflower. Let's go all four. Days. Wait, are we really out of food and medication? Okay, um, did not realize that. Let's, uh, let's remedy that, shall we? These away. Whew. Okay, that was pretty. Uh, kind of a long. It was long for me. I don't know if it, the end, the final cut's going to be long. Um, the final video. But I think I'm going to do some rearranging. Going to do some upgrades in a different video, probably in a cozy, relaxing video. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. That'll probably come out after this one. So. Yeah, and then that way when we start when we start up um, Stride Among the Realms next week, we will be all geared up. Maybe not geared up, but we'll have all of our new um, workstations. Because let's see, let's take a look. We got oh, that's annoying. It's marked as new again. Everything, <sighs> so frustrating. Stop doing that. But basically we got a brazier, refined masonry bench, refined mortar station, refined saw table, refined spinning wheel. Basically a lot of the refined stuff that we need. I think we did also got, yeah, refined enchanters focus, sewing bench, and workbench. So yeah, we're going to need all those. Ah, and we're going to do that in a different episode. Not this episode, not in Stranded Among the Realms, but in in a relaxing video. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed and uh, sorry it was kind of short-ish. Hopefully it's not too short. Anyway, that's the episode for today. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, next time we're going to hopefully have all of our new workstations up and we can go out and deal with the desert provisioner and we may end up doing Desert Provisioner and Swamp Provisioner in the same episode. We'll see how things go. Anyway, I'll catch you all later, alright? Peace.